kiss for you. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development and so guys this will be the part 7 of my video series on WhatsApp status saver pro using Android studio. Alright guys so in my previous part of the video we had completed the image status uh, display and the video status display okay so we were able to do, to display all the images and the videos in their respective fragments. Now in this video I am going to uh, teach you how you can write the code to download the image or the video. Alright, so let's get started. So here first of all we will go to uh, adapters, okay, because we have to uh, implement the method on click into the adapter. So whenever we will click on any item of the adapter, so we need to, uh, we, we, will, we will fetch the uh, object from the array list and after that we can get the object information and easily we can uh, download it so basically how we can download it so we will only uh, copy the image or the video from the whatsapp status original folder to our app uh, original folder all right so i will guide you step by step and you have to just follow me so here open the image adapter all right and here inside this we need to uh, have the we need to use the item view dot set on click listener and we can say new on click listener okay so here whenever any item is clicked so we this method will be called and what we can do here is we have the status model so we create the object and we can make the object just like this uh, image list dot get and in order to to get the current item click so we can get the index like get adapter position okay so so now we have this status model so here what I can do since I want to okay so there is a way to create and write the code in the uh, fragment or activity as it is preferred okay so I will prefer to write my all the codes in the fragment in the fragment not in the adapter okay so here what we can do is we can since I already have this object we send this uh, this fragment object from our fragment to this adapter and after this then we can access this fragment uh, function from this object so how can we do so here we can say we can check if status model is not equal to null then what we can do is we can simply say image fragment dot download image all right and after that we will send this status model to this method so there is an error so what you can do is put the cursor here type uh, i mean press the alt enter and there is this create method so if you say uh, press this so you can see that this method has been created in the image fragment okay so now we can easily write the code here so what we can do after this okay so as you we have the app our app directory since we ha already have this in my in our my constant file so there you can see this is the app directory whatsapp status directory so here first of all we will create a file object and inside this we can uh, pass my constant dot app directory and after that we will create it we will check if it does not exist if it does not exist so then we can say file dot mkdirs and after that we can say
after it is uh, created so we will have the destination uh, path so we can say desk file equal to new file and inside this we can uh, pass the first of all the object so here in this case we will have file and after that we will have plus file dot separator plus status model dot get title okay so this will be our destination path and then here we can check if or if there is already exist so we will delete it so here we can say if dust file dot exists then we can say dust file dot delete okay and after that we can write a, a function that will copy the image from the default whatsapp directory to our app directory so here this is the function copy image or we can say copy file and we will provide it with the file object with the uh, source file and the destination file so in, in our case our resource file we can get it from dot get file and our destination file is test file okay so yes we now need to create this function so you can see we have this function here and here we will write the code to copy so for this first of all we can check if just file dot get parent file dot exists then we need to delete it or i'm sorry i mean we need to create it if it does not exist then we can create it so we can say that file dot get parent file dot make directory okay then after that we will also check if dust file dot exists if it does not exist then we can say dust file dot create new file okay and it is saying that we need to handle the io exception so we will add this here and after we create it so now we will we can use the file channel and we can say source equal to null then we have file channel destination equal to null so after that we can say source equal to new file input stream and then we can pass our source file So in this case we will have this uh, file and we can say dot get channel. So similarly for our destination we can have file output stream and then we can say dust file dot get channel id. okay so we have the source and the destination channel so we will just uh, trans transfer them so for this we can say destination dot transfer from and first of all we will provide our source channel and then we will provide the position zero and then we will provide the source size so we can say source dot size all right and finally if the source is not equal to null okay so i think it will always be it will never be null 
so finally we will say source dot close and destination dot close all right so this is the code for our uh, copy or i mean we download the status and okay so after this we can simply toast a message that download complete okay after uh, after we download any uh, image or video or file in any of your project but it will never show in the gallery okay so in order to re refresh the gallery of the app so what we can do here is we can write this code so you you just need to follow me intent equal to new intent and then we can say intent dot action media scanner scan file and then we can say intent dot set data and for the data we can simply say uri dot from file and we can pass our Des destination file and then we can say get activity dot send broadcast and we can pass our intent here all right so it will work in this way but we need the file provider for this okay so i think we don't uh, need anything so that is the way to download any image from this uh, image click so i hope that you understand the concept behind how we uh, copy or how we can download the image from this uh, default whatsapp uh, status the directory to our internal directory all right so let's run our app and let's see so let's run the app and there you can see we have got an error so we also need to have the io exception and yes finally we can run our app all right so now our application is uh, running and it has all uh, these statuses so if i click on this image so i think that we have uh, downloaded the image so if i if we check it okay so i think we are unable to have the i mean we are unable to set the click listener so let's debug our app and then we see there is the problem okay so it is not uh, i mean not getting called so in this case what we can do is we let's open this item status and let's remove it let's have padding to 10 stp and 
let's remove this relative layout and yes now it will work Okay, so now we can try again and let's debug it and if I click on there still we are unable to detect the click oh yes because we have used this item view alright because we need to use this uh, image button download here okay so it will work so if i click on there so then you can see we are into this and yes image downloaded successfully so if we want to go to gallery and inside our gallery so we are able to see this image and from there we can i can also show you there you can see we have this directory and the image has been stored so guys if you like the video please like it uh, like share and subscribe to my channel thank you goodbye